Hey girl, do you have an exposed position? Because I want to slide my rook into your back rank and mate you. Reddit reacts, let's go. Number top for, I think I did this week, right? Did I do top for this week? Yeah, top for this week, here we go. Uh, the evolution of inspirational chess quotes, here we go. I don't believe in psychology. I believe in good moves. Chess is life in miniature. Chess is struggles. Chess is battles. This is completely effing ridiculous. Just plug the effing laptop in. Agreed, agreed. Good one, good one. Okay, what's up next? More Hans. Is, are we going to be a fool of Hans today? Let's see. When you are down two queens, but your opponent runs out of time. Chess speaks for itself. Yeah, exactly. True. All right, what's next? New chess update just dropped. What is this? Have I seen this? That was... Oh, it's muted. Oh, it's, it's auto-muted. Oh, so, so sad. It's auto-muted. Yeah, I have seen this, but it's auto-muted. So, nope. You don't get to hear it, you guys. <laughs> okay. Gotham chess lore. Uh, have I seen this? Maybe I've seen this. Maybe I haven't. We've seen this before, right? Or not? You won't last six moves against me. Wow. Nice. The French call us in passing. <laughs> That's a good one, yeah. I think we've seen this before, but I could be wrong. What? <laughs> yeah, I think we've seen it before, but anyway, it's still good. All right, what's up next? We have this. Uh, hey, girl. Hey, girl, do you have an exposed position? Because I want to slide my rook into your back rank and mate you. All right, you guys, let's keep going. What's up next? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Next up, we have um, summary of the FTX Crypto Cup. Hans Neiman game one. Chess speaks for itself. Hans Neiman games two to four. It's amazing. I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, this is also pretty good. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Next up, we have that's life. Losing a game on time on a, in a winning position. Okay. Winning a game on time in a losing position. Exactly. Of course. No, that's, that's very true. All right. What, what do we have next? Winning on time is always the best thing ever. Okay, dude. Thanks for that. Um, Jimmy Garo clips. Hikaru sure is good at baiting. You could even say that he's a master. Right now, uh, that's, a, that's a pretty weak one. I'll actually, I'll give you guys a better one. So there, there is a grandmaster who represents Can Canada. Um, his name is Bator Sambuev. And so... Um, they, they also, they, uh, sometimes the, the joke is you call him, uh, uh, grand masturbator Sambuev. So, um, so that's, uh, the, the, this is, this, is, there are better, there are better iterations of this, um, uh, of this joke, but Hey, it is what it is. Uh, what do we have next? We have a good one. Let's keep scrolling. Pawns on the seventh rank. Um, pawns on the seventh rank. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, thank you. Okay. Royal stalemate. We have um what a move. What is this? This is white is rook on b2. Okay, let's see how it goes. Rook b6. Let's get rid of the rooks first. Oh, and he plays king a8, right? Queen e3, we'll king a8. It's king a8. And just no? push these pawns. Okay, this maybe not. Be easy. Ah. Those boring checks. Come on, man, give me a chance. Oh my god, there's queen c7, queen f4, king a8. Oh man. Yes. King a8. That is actually pretty harsh. That's pretty harsh. That's pretty harsh, actually. To 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 have that happen in a game where they go king a8. That 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 is pretty nasty. Um, because you think you've won the game too with queen f4. Okay, what's this variation called? Um, okay, we've seen this picture before. All the pieces are super far away. It's like the uh the long distance Sicilian or something. All right. What's up next? We have the boy the boy shop. Okay. 
You should do one with the bishop coming across from across the board. Okay. This is waning. Is this entertaining? Okay. I, I'm missing the joke, but it's still good. Um, I'm missing the joke, but all right. What's up next? We have Hans Neiman hearing the um, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten digits. Thanks so much to Penguin GM for the raid with 301. Thanks so much to Andrew Tang. Uh, for the raid, not to be mistaken with Andrew, Andrew, um, Andrew Tate, but thank you so much to Andrew Tang for the raid. Appreciate it. Hans Neiman hearing the, um, that's what, 100, uh, that's what, 10 billion, uh, 10 billion, 318 million, 237,461st, 8, uh, 832 ELO player trash talking him. Yes, exactly. Yeah, true. All right, so what's up next? We have the chest speaks for itself. Okay, what is this? Chess speaks for itself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is I it's so it's so basic, but it's still so good. That is so good. Chess speaks for itself. So bad. And also it's the one, two, three. It's one, two, three as well. It's not, it's not like once, it's one, two, three, because he won three games in a row. This is really, really, really good. This is a this is well done. Well done. Yeah, I mean it, it's so basic, but it's really funny. Because it really does fit what happened in that match. Okay, what's up next? We have um because I don't see a 90% accuracy every game. Analyze a normal game to learn from mistakes. Analyzing six move game to see 90% accuracy. True. All right, next up we have Clown's Battle. When you make a blunder, then your opponent thinks that it's a good move. Um, okay, I'm, I, I don't get the joke. It's just clowns it is saying that everybody who's bad is a clown, apparently. Is that what it is? Something like that. I don't know, but that's, that's got to be what it is. Everyone's a clown. Okay. All right, next up we have... Uh, uh oh, here we go. Be grateful. One day, Billie Eilish was walking outside, and she saw a boy crying. She said to him, here, kid, have a 1d4 knight f6, 2c4 g6, 3 knight c3, bishop g7, 4 e4 d6, 5 knight three castle, 6 bishop e2 e5, 7 castles knight 6, 8 d5 knight 7 9 knight 2 an AMD risen thread ripper 2950x with 16 cores and 32 processing threads, 4.4 gigahertz max boost frequency, 40 megabyte cache, and 1.5 million Twitch followers are destined to do great things. Now, the thing that's, be the thing that's really good about this is, I didn't need no stinking amd risen thread ripper because when boris gelfand played not this 992 line against me during the world team championship in istanbul not istanbul sorry in a bursa turkey in 2010 sorry the year wrong 2010 i had my basic laptop and i won that game without needing without needing any kind of special computer i just did some basic prep on my laptop before the game um and that was one of my best games that's probably the best game i ever played honestly so um it's close but it doesn't quite fit so anyway stop flexing stop flexing exactly um anyway uh yeah so th this is uh all oh, right this is my old setup this was from uh this was from the the airbnb that i rented um in culver city right when i went out to la so yeah that's, that's my thread ripper right there underneath the desk i remember that well the the old days all right what's up next we have chess versus shogi strongest piece in chess is the queen the strongest piece in shogi again i don't, I don't play i mean i do play shogi but what is this is the dragon they're saying dragon there's like the dragon king there's a dragon apparently um something like that do three more posts past 100 would be nice to get the xqc clip all right um next up we have hey can someone pass the hand sanitizer hand sanit hand sanit hand sanitizer speaks for itself neiman's nice nice another another classic meme all right what's up we have chess spoke nothing Final standings, Magnus Carlsen, 16, Pragna, Nanta, 15, Ali Reza, Ferusha, 15, Lee Emily, 12, Jan Christoph Duda, 11, Levon Aroni, 8, Anish Giri, 7, Hans, Neiman, 0. Oh, and Botez tweets, can someone check in on Hans? Uh, no need to. The chest speaks for itself. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, geez. All right. What's up next? We have Dog Got Checked. What is this? Dog Got Checked? It says, wait, sorry. Hey, sir, I'm running late. Can you check the dog for me? Wait, we've seen this, right? I think we've seen this already, right? Yeah, we've seen this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we saw this last week. Um, but the next one coming up is a painting by Rob Gonzalez. Okay, so this is... Uh, I assume it's supposed to be God or something. And this is a kid playing chess 
playing chess. Oh, there's like a chessboard just on the mountainside. Okay. I mean, the art is pretty amazing. The, the art's pretty cool. I, I like, I love this artwork. Um, it's a really, really nice art. Um, yeah, yeah. Like this, this artwork is fantastic. He's on a rook. Oh, you're right. He's on top of a rook. So he's like, it's like 5D chess or something. He's, he's on top of a rook. He's playing on another board. The guy, the guy is playing on another board. Yeah. It's like, it's all kind of connected. Yeah, it's a good but pointless painting. Yeah, I, I love the artwork, though. I love this artwork. It's amazing. Um, So next up we have, I visited my grandma a few days ago and saw this. I did not realize she plays chess. <laughs> okay, this this is pretty funny. Yeah, this is good. Uh, that's just, what is she making, though? There's like, those are some kind of, uh, some kind of rolls or something. That could be like lasagna, too, like mini lasagna things as well. Who knows? But it's good. That, it's all dough when you're making things. Nice. Next up we have, why not, um, why not make chess pieces that you can just eat after capture? Well, there are chess pieces like this. There, there, there are chess pieces, uh, there are chess pieces like this where, where basically you can just, you can eat them. It's like, you, you, they're chocolate, they're chocolate chess sets everywhere. I've seen a million of those. All right, what do we have next? We have 20, yes, it's great this made, this made, because I do want to talk about this a little bit. Here we go. It's chess, but not as we know it. In this version, the board is submerged in a swimming pool and all the pieces are weighted and magnetic. The players had to hold their breath while they made their move, which meant they didn't have a whole lot of time to take in their opponent's last move or to determine what advantage their next move might give the opposition. That was a huge challenge for the 10 players who took part in the World Dive Chess that's pretty. That's, that's pretty nuts. At the Leonardo Royal Hotel in London. Trying to see the pieces, keep yourself down there is a lot more difficult, and especially once the, you, know, you, you play a long game there, you know, you're doing 30, 40 moves, and every time going down and coming up, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a marathon in itself. The pool is really cold, yeah. and spending a lot of time underwater hurts your oxygen intake, and so it becomes harder and harder to find good moves as the game goes on, really. After four hours, it was checkmate for Mikhail Mazurkovic from Poland, who beat South African Alan Decker to win the competition. I think that's sixty percent. So oh, that's, oh, that's they, they, they mean the they mean the entire competition was four hours. I was like, what the heck? They're playing. They're playing for four hours. Okay, it, it, just the whole thing was. Whoa, they need a Mamba forever for the sixty-nine gifted subs. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, to Mamba forever, another long-time supporter of the channel. Thank you so much for the sixty-nine. Yeah, no, I thought they said the game was four hours. They mean the whole event. Cause I was like, holy mackerel, four hours for like a game? That's insane. The World Dive Chess Championships were invented by chess master Etan Ilfield, who thought making the game more physical would also make it cool. Wendy Urquhart, BBC News. That's, I mean, I will say it's pretty crazy. Can you imagine if you play a bullet game with one minute on the clock? That would be very interesting to do. Like, you, you play one minute. Like, you both players have one minute, so it's like, you can come up for air in between moves, but that would be, um, that would be pretty, pretty wild. Pretty wild. All right. Next up, we have this AMA was great. Okay. How often, how often does the average top 10 chess player get laid? We aren't rock stars. <laughs> this, this age, like, uh, yeah, this age, like, uh, what, like rotten grapes or something. Um, yeah, th this is great. Did I actually answer this question? Seriously? In my, in my AMA eight years ago, you want to go back through the AMA as content one day? Yeah, we could potentially do that. Um, uh, yeah, I, I will leave it at that. That, that, did not age, that did not age all that well. So let's keep going. What's up? I'm supposed to go to the three below so we get to XQC. Um, these knights are very tricky. When you escape from knight, then you get forked with the other knight. I am here to say hi, the other knight. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I'm supposed to get to... Okay, let's get to XQC. What is this? This is XQC. Grandmaster XQC destroys Chessable. Okay, what is this? Let's watch it. Hans, Neiman, and his commander did the game of chess. Describe it. Well, it's completely fucking ridiculous that uh, the laptop is just running out of power, and uh, because the laptop runs out of power, of course he has all the time to think in the world to find all the best uh, moves, and uh, he has 20 seconds, and then he sits there for five minutes, gets to find all the best moves. So the fact that the laptop runs out of power completely threw me off, and it's just completely ridiculous. It should not be happening. Like, sure. Put the fucking laptop in, and uh, I shouldn't be losing a game because uh, 
like he gets five extra minutes to think and finds the best moves and okay thanks to at capge for my sub gifted Max sub thank you slob on my knob like call <coughs> on the cop check in with me <coughs> and do your job <laughs> interview i mean I not wrong dude how boomer are chess people that they have a tournament running on a laptop and it turns out a juice <laughs> what that's so fucking dumb bro how boomer Fucking wooden piece movers can't plug in a fucking lap plop. Bro, the lap plop. <laughs> plug the fucking thing in, dude. Jesus, man. Christ, that's, that's so bullshit. I'd lose my shit if I was doing that. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I love the lap flop, right? Yeah, they plug in the lap flop. <laughs> anyway, that's a great clip, though. That's really, really good. So I, I do like it. Why I didn't fuck trade queens? Just straight twins, it's it. Just straight queens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't blame him. I, I mean, I know that. I know that feeling, of course. I, I know that feeling very well. Twins and queens, and, and everything in between, right? Something like that. All right.